Hello guys, let's make a tutorial about how to connect a soundbar or a Bluetooth device, headphones or a Bluetooth speaker to the Samsung Smart TVs. In today's video we will connect a Bluetooth uh, speaker and we will see how it's the sound and how uh, the TV respond to the audio by optical optical out. And for the idea guys is I will risk this TV to make the update and I will try to fix a problem that I have. For example, I have this Harman Kardon Go Play 2 and I want to auto connect. I will leave it on all the time and I want when I start the TV for this speaker to auto connect between the TV and the, the Bluetooth by the Bluetooth uh, controller or the protocol. Now, for example, the TV is off. When I turn it on, I want automatically to connect to the Bluetooth speaker. Of course, I know what you're saying. The Bluetooth device, the Bluetooth speaker must support auto connect. I know it detects the, the speaker on my other TV, the 55 inch 4K Smart TV Samsung. And for this 40 inch, we have both presented these TVs. You can check out in our videos. And on this TV, um, it shows a message, but on, not on this firmware. Pay attention. So on this firmware, uh, we have 1270. I think it's the first firmware of this TV. I'm not sure. But um, to other TV, I made the... Uh, I made the... Uh, firmware update and so it appears for this TV is 1280 so when I turn on my 4k TV it shows a message Harman Kardon go play do you want to connect yes or no but but maybe maybe the Samsung made an auto connect feature you know I always say to check out the description of the update but in this case guys you will not find anything so we will make the update but first of all, guys, let me show you how to connect a Bluetooth speaker. So go into the menu. And for those of you who know, don't be rude that are beginners. We are not born learned, every one of us. So let other people learn. For those of you who know and you think it's simple, please understand the other folks that try to learn. So guys, now go in sound output TV speaker and you have here optical output. You can select that or the speaker list. Now it's searching and put it in the Bluetooth pairing mode. Now it's in, in the pairing mode and it saw our device. If it doesn't see your device, you go click and refresh and now click pair and connect. And it's that simple to connect a speaker, a sound bar. And I want to use my Harman Kardon Go Play as a sound bar because you know it. <laughs> It's connected, okay. This speaker, it's wild. It's so good. The heights are clear. The bass is very low and very powerful. I don't need the subwoofer in my house. So now, guys, it's connected. If I turn off the TV, I want to turn it on back again, let's say, in a couple of hours to watch TV. And I want to auto-connect, you know, not to go in the menu every time and auto-connect this. So I don't have any other possibility that to make the firmware updates. But next, I want to demonstrate the optical output. So let's suppose you don't want and you have an, uh, an system that it's optical and it's not by Bluetooth. You know, in the Bluetooth you have a delay. So to demonstrate, guys, it's connected by Bluetooth. And um, if I switch between the TV, the optical output and again the Bluetooth, it doesn't uh, go only on the Bluetooth. Uh, you, can, you can hear my voice on the Bluetooth and the, on the optical. So that Bluetooth hardware feature inside their TV, so they cannot connect. It's logical, but work to our two clips one which has 1,300,000 views. So now, if I select only the optical output, it goes only in the optical output. On uh, Only on the Bluetooth, it's not possible. This delay, you cannot do anything. It's something like this. In the sound, in the expert settings, 
and it's uh, an audio delay that you can um, adjust but the audio delay I think it's only I adjusted it doesn't have any effect it's only for the HDMI between the audio and the video tracks it says here but I, I think in the new firmware it's, uh, will, it will tell us that it's only in the HDMI the last thing we will do is the making of the firmware update and um, seriously I, I don't want to have problems decrease the quality of the YouTube uh, I think it moves very fast this uh, 4k 14 inch TV between all videos it responds the response time it's uh, quite good if you can see so uh, I don't have uh, I, I don't want to make problems but for you guys I will risk uh, for this firmware update the TV is working fine but I will do the update for fixing this problem and auto connecting the Harman Kardon so guys we move on another TV because that TV didn't work on the software updates I don't know really why uh, this is not uh, important now important it's on other TV I uh, succeed to make the update the version 1280 above this version they aren't any updates so let's connect our Bluetooth speaker okay it's connected okay so the response time it's it's okay there aren't differences on the search this, this stupid search pad that for the remote control it's okay but if you have a Bluetooth keyboard we have a Bluetooth keyboard in our videos you can check that out so I was browsing the menu but it's the same I don't see differences uh, maybe they are bug fixes so now let's close the TV guys and then let's reopen them okay so when we close the TV the Bluetooth speaker it's disconnected so now when we open up the TV once again let's see if it's okay it's in the TV speaker and we are interested in auto connecting let's wait for a second and we have nothing um, let's try to force restart so it's force restart it's rebooting of this TV hold 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 and now must boot up okay it boots up okay this is uh, how you force to restart your TV if you don't know we have a video I will try to go in the secret menu and uh, uh, look for there for a function or something uh, just to auto connect this uh, sound bar or Bluetooth speaker so guys I made two modification in the secret menu and I will show you right after and it shows me a message to connect to the Harman Kardon Go Play but I want you see yes okay and now I will click yes and it's connected my only problem now is to make and I ask Samsung to make a auto connect feature on the next update I think this update or or I made two modification in the because this before these modifications that message didn't show me anything and I activated the sound mirroring you know you can use your TV as a speaker a Bluetooth speaker and you can give from your phone to the TV music the problem is that I don't have any auto connect feature here okay let's go into the secret menu now in the debug I clicked on the BT BT stands for Bluetooth DUT I don't know DUT what it is it was off I put it on now let's put it back off to see if uh, this were indeed the modification that uh, uh, went and showed me that message uh, uh, by connected the Bluetooth speaker go at the auto detection group and I put it from 0 to 1 let's put it back to 0 close the TV open it up and see if it uh, shows me again that message for the connecting with the Bluetooth so turn it let's turn it off and let's see let's wait a couple of I don't know 10 seconds for displaying that message and no guys it doesn't give us any message so let's turn back the that uh, features one more time and so I saw even on my other 55 inch 4k TV it doesn't always show me this message 
but um, I don't know in what conditions it will uh, tell us the message. So Samsung, it's up to you to make the things right, make an update and solve this problem, and go and make a feature to auto connect to that pair device. If the TV sees the device being on, the next step it's easy to make an auto connect feature. So guys, if you have ideas for these problems, please feel free to comment and you can even send us messages to solve this problem. So thank you for watching. Uh, have a great day, YouTubers. See you. Bye.